I'm going to start editing the videos. Sylvia, I got your email. I couldn't quite tell <laughs> what you were asking me. So I don't know if you want to explain it. I think you might have been talking into your phone. Uh, I don't think I was talking, but wow. um, uh, one of my uh, problems was I got. Um, Did I send? I must have sent it from my phone, and sometimes I can't see. So, um, and no, oh, I was just saying, um, just to make whatever it is easy. I guess um, the city's PR would kind of lead us on the, um, uh, the timeline, and also how and what we can do. Um, like we did, did we decide that we're doing still shots? Like a slideshow, but with music. Is that what we said we do? I think video is going to be too challenging. Yeah, I mean, just did I say video? I mean, photographs. You know, just a slideshow, but a still photographs. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we talked about. Okay, and I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm probably at a little bit of a disadvantage because um I don't know what you all had discussed as far as um visuals. Uh, we were going to take um, a sh uh, still shots of all of our citizens um, across the board. We had five categories where we'd have a slideshow about three minutes to music um, uh, and show that every Tuesday, um, or it started every Tuesday, we change it to another one in this month of December and use it on social media or wherever else we could use it just to. Um, Say thank you to uh, first responders, to teachers, to uh, citizens, to people working in the drugstores for it. You know, it's just uh, a, a way instead of um, Human Rights uh, Week, it was uh, Human Rights Month, Human Rights Day. Uh, we were going to do that instead of the award ceremony. And okay. someone from your office said that was doable. Is that oh, oh, had you already spoken to someone in the communications office? Didn't somebody do that? You're, you're not on. I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there, there, Kevin was in our last meeting. Kevin oh. um, Fairley, he was in our last meeting. He suggested us reaching out to Julie, and he actually um, sent an email to Julie, giving her a, a rundown of what we were discussing in the meeting. And um, Julie just told us whenever we were ready to move forward with the process to kind of reach out to her office and um, you guys would give us any kind of pointers, any kind of um, direction and how we can get this um, recognition event done. Oh, okay. I think she might have been thinking these were two different things, I think, because um, she did mention that um, at one of our staff meetings. So, um, Okay, so just backing up what uh, Sylvia was just kind of outlining. You're looking for a video of and who exactly um, in the video? Well, well, from my understanding is that we want to reach out to the community and get their, um, you know, submissions of people that they think people in different. Um, um, not, not people, For example, but healthcare workers, healthcare workers, and they would submit pictures of these people who no. they think should be highlighted. That's my, um, if, correct me if, if yes. I'm wrong on that. I, I, I want to, uh, so thank you very much. I unmuted myself, but I'd appreciate if we can formally start the meeting so that we can start the discussion. It's 106. Uh, and, uh, uh, and yes, I would like to, to, to say that the agreement was that it was not going to be individuals, that actually we were going to recognize uh, groups and, uh, and maybe we can start right there, maybe going through the, through the minutes and approving them gives us an idea of what the agreement was. And then uh, uh, the vice chair or the chair can exp on those agreements that were reached. And then uh, I would like to hear from my and my suggestion is that we um, ask the media department, you know, to maybe appoint Valerie to be our liaison because if we're going to have different people 
and the understanding will be different amongst all of them. I'm going to be uh, concerned about, you know, doing repeating times. Thank you for allowing me to, to speak. Thank you, Beatrice. I want to take a moment just to recognize that Tommy has joined the meeting. Uh -huh. Hi, Tommy. Hello. Hey, Tommy. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, Sorry. So, um, with that, Sylvia or David, did you want to review the minutes and kind of give Valerie a recap? Or? Yeah, I can review. I mean, the minutes look good. So, Val kind of echoing what everyone said. We had a long discussion and came to the conclusion that five short videos so let me back up actually we normally do an in-person award ceremony and we realized that was probably going to be impossible this year so we were trying to figure out what to replace it with and we had a bunch of different ideas and the one we eventually landed on was an a virtual recognition video as opposed to a traditional award ceremony but we thought that instead of one long video, which you know people probably wouldn't watch, we would do five short videos, and each video would be dedicated to a specific group of people. And so the five categories we came up with um, for video one was healthcare workers and first responders. So we envision you know pictures of nurses in the hospital, you know whoever it is helping deal with COVID. Um, Video two would be essential workers and ordinary citizens. So, you know, people that aren't technically on the front line of defense, but if ordinary citizens going above and beyond to help people with COVID. Um, video three was gonna be organizations and nonprofits. Video four is feeding each other and donation drives. So we were thinking like restaurants and the food bank, things of that nature. And then, Video five, our title is kind of a word jumble at the moment, but it's protecting each other and equity and social justice. But what we envision is that whittling down to kind of like the the protests and the movements and people doing that while dealing with COVID. And so kind of just the social unrest and change and people that were helping lead that and doing that in a, I guess, responsible manner um so th that was going to be our five short videos and we envisioned kind of sending out the bat signal that we were putting these out and hoping people would submit pictures so you know we were hoping nurses might sub submit pictures of them in the hospital or restaurants would submit pictures of them handing out food and then we would put them together into a tight two to three minute video on each topic and we'd release one per week in december um, and December is when Human Rights Day is. So that was how we came with all of that. And so today we were going to hope to finalize those five categories and maybe fix the name for that last one um, and then come up with some sort of timeline on when we want to have all our pictures in by so we have time to edit them um, and just make sure we kind of have a game plan. That's very good, David. My hand is raised. Okay, Beatrice, you had something to say? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, I, I, I am going to request if we can send a copy of, the, of our minutes to Valerie. Um, and and if, she, if she has them already, that's, that's great. Uh, but uh, in regards to the categories, the second category, uh, was of regular ordinary citizens that during the COVID, uh, you know, times have um, worked, say like agricultural workers, uh, people uh, in the supermarkets and stuff like that. And my concern on that is that, uh, you know, besides requesting it, that's fabulous and wonderful. And I would like to hear Valerie on this because I feel that there are a lot of pictures and videos that maybe our um, TV stations and people in the media, like the Virginian pilot and so forth, that they have, uh, you know, had articles about. So uh, instead of like waiting for a lot of uh, a lot of those things to trickle in and then having to edit, I would I would say that that's going to be a lot of work for the 
department or I don't know if we are going to do it. I know that in the committee, I'm not, you know, one of the handiest persons to, to be doing um, editing of videos and, and pictures and so forth. And, uh, you know, if we say that the media department, you know, should be doing this work, I would like to hear from them because it seems to me, uh, uh, you know, number one, a lot of editing work. And number two, what is the time frame that we're going to use to receive those pictures, videos, or whatever, so that uh, you know we have plenty of time to work with them and, and see the final product. Thank you. Thank you, Beatrice. Um, and just want to clarify, um, Valerie, I included you on the email this morning with the uh, reminder of the meeting today, and I put the agenda and last um, last meeting's minutes on that. So just want to make sure okay. if you got, uh, if you received that, Valerie. Um, I I probably did. Okay. I just um clicked on the link to join the meeting, and gotcha. um I can I can review that afterwards. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you, um Beatrice. I appreciate um what you said. The the first step actually would be to um find out, it, you know, if the video team has the capacity to do this. Um, it is. It is um, sort of different in that they won't, you know, you're not asking for them to shoot video. But again, um, as to reiterate what Sylvia said, uh, compiling images and things like that. And I don't, I don't know who you were intending on um, reaching out to to receive uh, images from. But yeah, there would definitely need to be a timeline put on, um, you know, to have them submit um, these photos. And images by a certain date, and um, you know, either way, five videos is a lot. Um, you know, whether we're filming or whether we're you know compiling and editing, um, so we may may want to look at that um, in terms of you know how many um, you're talking about doing. And actually, I would need to um, research a little bit, but we did produce early on in the pandemic. We did produce something that sounds similar to what you all are talking about mm -hmm. um as far as a thank you and i know it had lots of different um frontline workers involved in it but i wasn't i didn't produce that video my coworker did so i would need to check and see um what that was about because it may be something we could perhaps repurpose at least for you know maybe one of the videos um so yeah that's that's the first thing we have um, a form called a creative brief that we use whenever we approach to do any type of um, project that involves um, well, pretty much any type of project that we do. And I can forward that to um, Dominique uh, and, and, and the rest of you all too, um, if needed. And it just basically outlines every aspect of the project that you're looking to do. And this, we've, we've had to implement this and it's become very helpful in our processes so we can get a, a clear understanding of what's um, being asked of us and we can have a realis realistic expectation of, um, you know, what what we can do and how it will be done moving forward. So I can, I can forward that creative brief um, to you and, um, you know, we can make, we get everything filled out on that to make sure, because it sounds like you all are still kind of deciding what, um, you know what the the, the specific category is going to be what what actually the project is going to be so that needs to be um settled on you know before we uh you know make any decisions about producing when we get into producing so Sylvia, oh, oh. um uh th thank you valerie and i was thinking about this uh last night um <clears throat> like three o'clock in the morning when i got sleep but uh, five video, uh, there, there's, and I keep saying videos, but it's really a slide presentation. And even at um, three minutes a piece, that's still a lot, uh, still a lot of work uh, to put into it. And maybe what we can do is do uh, the same video and just release it uh, one time during that month and just keep replaying it. And the other thing that I thought of, because I used to do photography was uh, the, um, there are consent forms, not just for the um, photos that are used, but they have to be signed. And even though they give you the commission, um, I think each to protect the city, I think they'd have to have a photograph uh, release form. And then we'd also be faced with uh, music. Music is copyrighted and we have to uh, pick something. So if Valerie, if you have what was already done, 
Uh, as far as um, music, we have a music library that um, our videographers use. So there's there's lots of different music we can choose from that um, you know that's already clear that we have permission to use on projects such as this. So that probably that won't be a an issue. Um, but yeah, you know, as you're saying, even though it's not, um, it's basically compiling, you know, photos and putting them together um, correctly and adding music to it um, and things like that. It, it is different from, you know, shooting a video, but it still has, pretty, you know, the same amount of um, editing and, and things that go into it like that to be considered. Okay, um, Ginger, you have your hand up? Yes, thank you. Um, so I ha have to agree with um, Beatrice and with Sylvia that I think that we uh, have too many. Um, these this is too many videos. Uh, I, I just call it a video to produce um, for us. And uh, Valerie, a question to you is: Are there stock pictures that can be pulled on the topics of? Grocery workers, of um, sanitation workers. Um, yeah, they are. We we have um, you know access to um, I stop um, photos and things like that. I mean, it's not the same effect, of course, um, that it would be if we actually had real you know people. Yeah, and they um, won't be wearing masks either. That might be something yeah. that the team wants. Yeah. So I mean, we usually just use stock photos when um you know just for something kind of generic or a basic just one image post if you're talking about using several that would be you know kind of uninteresting actually to see you know just some staged you know models basically is what they are in pictures you know in these stage situations and that's a good point that they wouldn't have um mask on so that would be a challenge there I mean, but if you all have faith that you all can get, uh, you know, all these images from people, you know, that that would that would be my biggest concern is like, you know, who who the people you all are reaching out to to submit these photos and um, yeah, will will they be usable as far as um as uh you know Sylvia was mentioned as far as permissions and clearances and things like that. And will they be the right um, pixels, et cetera, that language to be able to be used to this challenge? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ginger. Uh, Beatrice? Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, going a little bit back. Um, number one, uh, we have to clarify to Valerie that we were thinking about four different programs. I don't know what the length it would be because actually probably uh, I would say that we need to define that. Um, but uh, the four uh, the four uh, types of recognitions will will be done separately. And uh, you know, knowing uh, and organizing all of us meetings and community events, I can tell you that if you are going to depend on having people taking time right now where a lot of people are basically facing uh, economic hardship, uh, number one, uh, and, and to, to, to mail us or email us photographs. Um, I, I am concerned about that because it's not like as if we are going to have a whole hour of recognizing names or anything. So I feel that our focus should be to have us lift up the issue in a verbal manner so that we can, you know, and then as they are speaking, and it could be somebody from the media department, then you can have these images. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we think that because we are requesting pictures, that with that we are assuring the people in the community they are they are expecting to have their picture in there that somehow they're going to be our audience. Uh, I would like to revisit that because I really feel that our concentration should be, you know, how we are honoring these four groups of people and uh, 
how we can facilitate and make sure that our our end product is professional and it gives due respect to the four categories that we are lifting up. Dominique, we can't hear you. Sorry about that. I had a loud sneeze, so I had to mute myself. Um, Sylvia, I see your hands up. Did you have something to add? Uh, yeah, um, Beatrice, I don't know if you were listening when you went away, um, but we were talking about now that we're um, facing the reality of what what this all entails, we were thinking of doing just one uh, and putting all the categories into the one uh, slideshow presentation. Um, and then using just putting that up for December, however we however we do it, because I think the I think the magnitude of this with everything that we've got going on, we have like three meetings this week, uh, I, and whatever we do outside. So, and I'm not sure how um, uh, Valerie's uh, group is doing, but we're certainly going to have to rely on them. I'd really like to see what Valerie has already put together. Because if it's very close to what we want, uh, why invent the wheel? Um, I know that she said they didn't have mask on, but um, I don't. I don't know how we'd uh, like. Beatrice was saying to request photographs and then yeah. put them and go through each one of them. And uh, Valerie, do you have any um, suggestions? Um, I think we should just look at yours first. Let me um let me uh, research that and excuse me. Like I said, it was done very early on um at the onset of the pandemic. Um yeah. and my coworker um Ray actually produced it um with our video team. And as I recall from what I recall of it, there was um you know footage from several different you know areas of you know with front that included frontline workers um. And I'll just have to find out, you know, what was the context of it? What was it used for already? But um, I, th I think it sounds, you know, like you are what you might be trying to accomplish here. Um, like I said, I just don't have it in front of me. So I can definitely um, research that today. And um, if I can send the link out to you all to see what you think of it. And yeah, um, I mean, on what you were saying as far as um, kind of our capacity, our video team, you know, we, because of the pandemic, all of the public meetings now have gone live stream, which is, you know, a requirement. We have to um, have them in such a way so that the public can um, be engaged and still give their comments and do everything. So basically, um, every every day or every evening during the week, Monday through Friday, we have some sort of public meeting. Um, which takes up a lot of our crew and um, a lot of their time. So we've kind of had to, you know, make adjustments in how we, you know, what other projects we take on. But again, it's on a case by case basis. Um, so yeah, that that would be factored into it as well. Okay, thank you, Valerie. Um, did anyone have any other kind of um, statements or questions or concerns? Rabbi Zoberman, did you have anything? Nope, nope, say? nope. Okay, thank you. Um, so, um, David, Sylvia, um, any 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 statements or comments you need to make or new direction we want to take? Okay, end up. Oh, Sylvia. Oh, um, I, I just going to say I. Uh, since this is our first meeting with Valerie and uh, PR, I really think we are. It's it's whatever they are uh, they can can do, and will do, and allowed to do. And then maybe if we could just uh, get um, PR Valerie get, get every tell them what we you you know what we kind of want. And now that we've kind of narrowed it down to maybe just one video, and we'll just uh, or a slideshow, and we'll put it up. Uh, you're you have to guide us because we're not we're not going to be able I don't think we'll be able to produce it. Do you guys think so? I mean, I can I can I can do a PowerPoint with uh, music, but that's not the same thing. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, and and I'll I'll do just that. I'll like I said I'll um you know 
find that video that we've already done, see if that's something we can use and, um, you know, go from there. If not, we can, you know, we can look at doing some kind of compilation um, video. Um, again, like I said, five would probably be asking a lot, but um, we could, you know, at least do something. And um, if you all can, if we do go that route, if you all can um, kind of figure out how, you know, you're going to get these images and things to to do for use for something like that, that would be the, the biggest piece. Thank you, Valerie Beatrice. Yes, unfortunately, planes are flying strongly. But <laughs> I just heard one. So sorry for the background music. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, my understanding now is that it's going to be one video, four slides dedicated to lifting up these different groups, and uh, I feel that we go with the easiest way that the uh, you know, the department, the media department can provide support because the other option that I can see is having like a, a Zoom meeting or a Zoom event that will be uh, placed on Facebook Live where a lot of people, that usually attracts a lot of viewers, let me tell you. Facebook Live uh, is a, an excellent tool, um, but in the meantime, we decide, you know, between what we are going to do, and, you know, after we hear from Valerie, whether the confirmation is that the media department is going to be able to support us. Um, I think, nevertheless, there is work to be had. And my advice would be for the committee to start writing up inspiring um, an inspiring definition as to why those four categories were so key at, at, at this time, and uh, to make sure that when we do that, it's not just recognition, but that actually we are sending a, 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 a call out for people to still have that empathy for the entire community and how important that is for uh, our survival, that we depend on one another. I mean, there is so much that, that, that can be said. Uh, and I think that that is our job to make sure that we inspire, not just recognize, you know, what happened in the past. That's very important. But also to have a, a, a goal of mapping out what is our view of a good community. And that uh, within that, we, we send a message as well. Thank you. Yeah, and I guess that makes me remember, um, I guess I thought this was about um, an awards program, I guess. How, how does that fit into what we're talking about? It, it it's, doesn't. It's, it was a, a, okay. a replacement for it because it's uh, we were going to have it on International Human Rights Day, which is December 10th, and then it's Human Rights Week and it's Human Rights Month. So we figured we needed to do something, and this, okay. was, this was the best we could come up with the alternative okay i just want to make sure i wasn't missing something there um something else all right so this was what you all had kind of came up with to replace what you would normally do okay and Thank that you. is what i wanted to uh speak about also is um since like beatrice said perhaps we have someone who's doing a, a live introduction of what this is and why we're commemorating Human Rights Day. Uh, I, I think that would be an, a powerful piece to put in there also. And then while the slides are going, then someone is narrating um, the script, which we, we all could write here. Um, much like the Valerie did great work for us at the Mental Health Committee, creating the slideshow that we had and helped us with um, that narrative. But we initiated as the committee, with Tommy leading us, we initiated the dialogue and the narrative in there. So good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Ginger. Okay, did anyone else have anything to um, say, any comments to make? David, are you still there? David? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's... I, the hardest part is going to be getting the pictures. Once you have the pictures, I really don't think it's 
hard for like somebody under 30 to put together a quick video you basically say hey 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 <laughs> well i mean I, I i think you could just say i want them all spaced five seconds apart here's the you know 60 pictures done but yeah i do think it'd be hard getting the pictures that and you know if there's more yeah so i don't know maybe we bit off more than we could chew um yeah i am muting myself uh because since i am going to be stepping out you know i'm, I'm not going to stay uh two hours on the meeting but i just wanted to make sure that you know it did that my uh my request and my suggestion is placed on the minutes and that is for us to start uh within this committee writing up i mean regardless of how the format is going to be we are going to be lifting up the four categories and we are going to be lifting up the message uh of the of the um and that can be done ahead of time uh and that is work that is going to happen anyway so please you can uh, put that on the on the minutes that that is my suggestion i know that all the members of the committee are not here um teresa you know had this idea and uh i guess she also will have an opinion but in in my way of thinking is that it is not impossible and it is very doable and depending on how we produce whatever we produce just to keep in mind also, and that is my, my, my recommendation, to keep in mind that whatever we produce, um, it doesn't have to be uh, only uh, viewed in, in, on our uh, TV channel, the city's TV channel, but you know, to place it on our Facebook page and uh, have a, a, a face, la, Facebook Live event that, that we place it there to kind of like, uh, call the attention of people and a lot of people on, on Facebook kind of like view, I guess, what's going on live. And if you are connected to that particular organization, something flashes out on your screen saying that they're having uh, a program or something live. And, and that is another uh, way that we can bring more audience in. But the, the key part is uh, starting our work and and having uh, the issues in writing and uh, not to make them too too long either uh, but you know to make sure they meant to mention the specific categories in all the groups that are included in those categories um, so thank you thank you Beatrice um, anything from uh, David or Sylvia Tommy, I see Tommy, you have your, your, your real hand up. <laughs> I'm not sure when this should come in. Um, well, first, I'd like to say so many thanks to Valerie and the communications and media for all the help they've been and are all the time. They really, really have it together. <laughs> they do a great job and I appreciate it. Um, I, I was uh, thinking that when we start to getting ready to have submissions of groups to recognize, did we want to have an um, outline or format that people might follow? Or do we just wanted a free handed thing to, uh, there should be a question, there should be something to guide people in terms of uh, submitting a group or organization, um, some of the categories that we have here. We haven't talked about that, I don't think. We did talk about that at our last meeting and our consensus there, we did not vote on it, was that we would not recognize by name any groups. We were just looking for general pictures of categories of our local heroes um, mm -hmm. um, during all of this. So that we, we did talk about that last time. Yeah, we have five categories. And I was thinking like we've got organizations and nonprofits and if someone wanted to recommend an organization, they just recommend it and say what they did. We don't want to have, say, a format that they might follow just to say the name, what they did, and the timeline, and that sort of thing that everybody could follow to make it consistent. 
I don't know why. So that, I'd like to go back uh, to my initial comment of too many categories. And that was one of the categories that I thought um, could, uh, could take us down a rabbit hole and get complicated um, at the category of organizations and nonprofits, because then we, we have to name them. Their faces will be there, their names will be there, their work is there. And that doesn't really fit with um, being more general in those categories. Well, we're talking about getting submissions of groups we want. We have five groups you said we wanted to recognize. Did we change that? Is that what you said? And that's what we're discussing now is that there's probably too many. Um, so that would be one of our, uh, our task is to narrow down the categories of people. I, I you guys in mind because I think I, I think that that we are going back uh, and uh, my understanding was the following was that we were not going to use groups organizations and name them why because if we have a short time and a video uh, you know we don't have a captive audience that is going to sit down at an auditorium and be patiently waiting to hear all of that stuff. We are going to be trying to uh, get the attention of individuals. And I think that nobody's going to turn in onto something that is going to have just a list of, of organizations. I myself don't think uh, I, I would even be able to do that. So I wasn't thinking about that. I, was, I wasn't thinking the, about just having a list. And, uh, well, the decision, my understanding was that we were going to say all the mental health agencies that work on this, all the, uh, you know, uh, hospitals that are doing, or, you know, above and beyond of seeing patients. And, and basically just reminding people all the work that took place in our community that actually kept us afloat, you know, uh, people that were you know, and, and the farms gathering fruits and vegetables, uh, people that actually became sick and infected by by working for us and the supermarkets and other places, uh, things like that. Um, because I, I really feel that we will be leaving out uh, uh, a lot of organizations. So if you don't mind, Sylvia, I would like for us to have a definite because uh, my understanding was one, and I don't know if that is the, the 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 understanding of everybody else, so that we can move forward and that, and don't have this discussion. Because then uh, I don't know what my work will be with the committee. Because if I'm going to be gathering then names of organizations, uh, that that would be good to to know. We can actually all of us do that right now. Thank you. Time. Thank you, Beatrice. Did you have more to say, Tommy? No, I said I was trying to clarify that because we said something about submissions. And so I think you're right. We need to be clear on what we're looking for and who's going to do it and timeline. And the best I can tell right now is Valerie is going to one email the what she has already that we put together. Um, we probably won't use because it doesn't have masks or anything. However, um, that can give us an idea and we have now uh, said we're just going to lump all the pictures together and it'll, it'll be self-explanatory. If there's a person handing a plate to someone uh, for dinner or the, there's a nurse or a doctor or there's a first responder or there's a citizen who's got the kids in the stroller in the grocery store, you know, our, so we were thinking of uh, thanking our citizens as well for cooperating. Um, so, you know, it would be every, everybody and I don't think there needs to be any, you know, I'm not even sure we need the dialogue, but if we can decide that later, if we have dialogue or just music, it's just, to me, it's self-explanatory. Um, kind of like the way I'm seeing you guys right now. It's like, okay, we're, they're having a meeting, you know, it's like uh, a picture's worth a thousand words. So I'm anxious to see what Valerie um, has for us. And, um, Less, and I, I heard David, he said it seemed pretty easy. David, can you put it together for us? David? It, yes, if I didn't have a five month old in the new house, <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> put me down for next year. All right, 
Yeah, he'll be two years old. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, and there may be another one. So I'll just keep pushing yeah. back. Um, next next COVID, you can count on me. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> okay. Um, Beatrice, did you have more to say? I see your hand still up. Yes, uh, I uh, basically would want to for us to at least at this meeting be very clear how we're living out because we are investing an hour to define things and tasks for us to accomplish. You know our um, and uh, in my opinion, uh, to have just pictures and not have a description as to what we are doing and why we are lifting up and what the relationship between of that those groups of pictures and, and what we are celebrating. So, uh, you know, I, I work on radio for a long time and, and I have for for 12 years. I had, uh, you know, a radio program and national public radio. And I can tell you that you have to prepare your program. You have to define for the community, even if it is not visual. You have to explain what you're doing. So we need an introduction. We need to recognize that we are celebrating International Human Rights Week. And we need to then say what has been inspiring for all of us this year and how much it uh, you know, was key for our lives that these people dedicated so much their lives to make sure that all of us you know, felt secure regarding health care, food, etc. So those at least needs to be a short introduction and then, you know, show the pictures. Doesn't have to be long. Thank you, Beatrice. Okay. Did we have anyone else who wanted to speak or any suggestions? Uh -huh. I think that's probably it. We really are waiting on Valerie and to see what they can offer and what the other video looks like. If you don't, I don't mean to put it off on you, Valerie, but no, I can yeah. I completely understand. Yeah, I um just emailed uh, my coworker about the um the video, and I'll wait to hear back from her. And I can um I may be able to go on our YouTube channel and search it for it myself, but I should know, you know, by today or tomorrow. If the video even exists, I could be making it up in my head, but I'm sure I'm sure I'm not. <laughs> I know I'm not. I just I can't recall what the purposes of what it was used for, and that that'll that'll factor into you know whether we can reuse it or not. But yeah, I will definitely um, get that, find that, and uh, send you all the link to it when I do. Okay. Can I just tap off of David for one second? Um, you know, David, I may not be under 30, but I think I could possibly you know, <laughs> if we all went out and took photos of just and we could put it together. Um, I, and then I asked Valerie, is that something technically that could we could then transfer to our Facebook page because people do it all the time. They're posting those things. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what kind of software you all are working with <laughs> individually. Um, there it is. If, no, I mean, I was you gonna say, yeah, there's mine. That's it. <laughs> this is my phone. This is my <laughs> new camera. Yeah, you can certainly post, uh, you know, videos that you take on your phone onto Facebook. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't you don't need a, a video team for that. That's for sure. So we could probably easily get enough photographs. Uh, just by asking uh, our friends that we know that they would sign off on them. I, I think, because how many, uh, if it's three minutes and they stay up, how many seconds, three seconds about? Is that right? How long, how many seconds did the, does it, the photo used to stay up on one of these slides? Um, I mean, that, that's completely up to you. That, yeah. would, you know, it, it, it just, yeah, it just depends on what kind of look and feel you're going for. If you, you know, want people to linger on them a little longer or you just want it to be a very fast paced montage style. Um, yeah, that's that, that would be up to, to you or whoever's, you know, put it together, their style and taste. As long as we hit um, most everybody, I think that, you know, the different professions and the citizens and I think we can do it. I'm still anxious to see Valerie. So I think we're good until we hear from Valerie. Okay. And uh, we can uh, 
I had a question about something that Ginger brought up with the um, release forms. Like, if if we go out to, you know, we get a friend of a friend who can give us a picture of their nurse, their, them and their nurse, you know, doing whatever they're doing in the hospitals, or them and, and a friend in their grocery worker, you know, team, what kind of release is required for us to show those, those pictures? I mean, we the city has a standard form that we use that I can forward to you. Um, that um, I'm not sure if you all are taking the pictures. If you know, if you can use the city form, you can certainly use the language from it. Um, I have to find out for about that for sure because we use it when our staff photographer, when he you know takes uh, images of people that aren't. You know, city employee. As a city employee, we're um, it's kind of automatic that um, any images that we're in um, can be used for promotional purposes. But people who aren't city um, employees, uh, we need to get their permission. And um, unless it's our staff photographer or one of our videographers actually taking the um, image, um, I, you you couldn't use our form. You know, that has the city seal on okay. it or the logo on it or anything. But you can certainly use um, the same language. Um, you know. For, for your own form, or I mean, if they're if you're friends with them, that you could just verbally get their um, agreement. If you know, if you know, they're okay. not gonna <laughs> cause any trouble for you. <laughs> okay. okay. And remind me, Valerie. Uh, way back when when we were um, when I was doing photography, uh, and my son was modeling. If if he was in a public place and they took his photograph, um, that was. There was no permission actually needed if you're in a public place, as long as you're not making money off of the photograph. Yeah, if it's not a promotional or marketing um, piece or anything like that, yeah, that's kind of um, understood. Like when we have public events and our photographer um, and videographers go out and take, you know, B-roll footage of crowds and stuff like that, that's, that's um, yeah, that's understood. We certainly don't get a release form from every person in the audience. and. Um, sometimes we'll even make, you know, the announcement that if you don't want to be filmed, um, get out of the way or, you know, stay away from the camera. But yeah. Well, I, I could, um, if Valerie, if you could send me like the, the release form you use and then maybe I could um, talk to Rod and see what he suggests on the legal end of this when it comes to getting pictures from people, or what okay. we are required to do to kind of cover ourselves. Yeah. Go ahead with um, the slide presentation. Okay, I'll send you that. Yeah, and we want to make sure that we can do it um, virtually as well, uh, electronic signature, because we're not going to be running out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. Okay, mm -hmm. that 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 is another another element. Yeah. And, um, sometimes electronic signatures aren't considered legal or whatever. So I think I need to just reach out to Rod to make sure we're safe. In mm -hmm. that, and in that lane. Okie dokie. Well, I think we're just um, now waiting for um, Valerie, and 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 our next meeting should probably um, be predicated on when Valerie can get the information to us. And, um, okay, and I'll work on getting that to you all as soon as possible. Okay, like within the next couple next day or so. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and. Timeline wise, um, uh, I'm going to just think about a, uh, let us think about the next meeting time, or do you think we need to set it up now? Well, uh, I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking at writing down action items, and I have number one to receive Valerie's input. I have number two to outline what it is we want to say about these categories, and number three is the actual nuts and bolts of the um, the product that we have. That's what I have so far, and we can move ahead with working on outlining intro and all like next week after as soon as we hear back from Valerie. Okay. Which that's the uh end of August. Yes. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Do we have anything scheduled for the end of August? 
No. Um, only thing going on uh, Friday, last this last Friday of the month is the mayor's round table at one one o'clock. Yeah, that's um, just Francis and Ron. And Ron, yeah. Um, Maybe next Thursday, twenty seventh. I try for that. Anybody? That's good for me, and I can start to fiddle with an outline. Also, Beatrice, if you have ideas for outline, start to fiddle with that. Oh, Beatrice, you're you're unmuted. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can have a chat with you, uh, and Ginger. I, I uh, won't promise to to get engaged on anything right now. I'm putting together. Uh, at least two meetings with the law enforcement uh, thing, and I'm chairing that committee. And I have a report. I have three reports with them, and, and that's kind of heavy duty. Um, so, uh, but in a conversation, we can we chat? Is that okay with you? Yeah, if you don't have time, it's okay. I mean, there are enough of us here that can just start working on. Uh, yeah, but I, I, you know, I'll be happy. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to connect with you. Thank you. Okay, and next week we want to have a, a law enforcement meeting too, um, or do we have one scheduled already? Tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I see. One to three. Got it. Okay. We're good then. Okay, so next week, uh, sorry, yeah, next week the 27th, um, what time? Is this a good time or later? I like later if it's okay. 3, okay. 3 p.m. Is that too late for everybody? David, is 3 o'clock on the 27th good for you? Um, let me see. 3 o'clock on the 27th. It sounds good. All righty. All right. Then I will um, do the public notice and get an email out to everyone. Thank you, Valerie, so much. And we'll wait to hear from you and uh, take okay. your leave. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Meeting. Bye. Meeting over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, have a good, a good evening, and be safe. Please. You too. You too. Bye.